Sports Desk. I'm Mark Talley. Tonight's feature game of the Grand Mesa High School Baseball League featured the Renegades taking on the Colt 45s. Let's go straight to the action. Top of the first, Logan Mills grounds one up the middle. Should be a routine play, but the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. After stealing a base and advancing on a ground out, Mills is on third when Jaden Child up, and the catcher can't hold on, allowing the ball, allowing Mills to score the first run of the game. Nolan Redway started the game for the Renegades and had it going early. He struck out two in the bottom of the first to keep his team up 1 0. After giving up that earned run in the first, Colts pitcher Sean Mendez settled down and struck out the side in the top of the second. Shout out to the umpire for this classy punch out call. Bottom of the second, runner on first, Garrett Rodebo. Singles to the left side to advance the runner after a wild pitch right here. They're going to bring in the tying run, and we're squared at one. In the top of the third, Renegades have already scored one run, looking to add to it. Zane Gray hits this liner to center, bringing home another to make it three to one. Renegades in the bottom of the fourth, the Renegades make a pitching change. They hand the ball to Colton Schaefer. Kayla Bolson for the Colts. It's a chopper up the middle. And the defense can't quite handle it, and he's safely aboard. Next man up is Dylan Noah. He hits it so hard that my camera shakes. Noah drives it to the warning track, and it's good enough for a double. Eventually, the Colts are going to have runners on second and third. But then Schaefer got a line out, and then he's going to get a strikeout. Do you think that young man was trying to hit the ball hard? I think so. He's got a chance to get out of the inning. Ground ball through the middle. This is starting pitcher Meisner for the Colts, who grounds it in. Bad throw is going to allow both runs to score, and just like that, it's all tied up. Miser advances to second, helping his own cause. That tied the game at three. The Colts will go on to win six to five.